so I moved to Haiti in 2010, and I arrived with basic French. But it quickly became evident to me that most Haitians preferred to communicate in Creole. I had read up on Wikipedia a bit about the structure of the language and sort of the morphology elements of it. There is no morphology. So it's very elegant, very concise, very tight structure with very strong rules that are applied almost globally throughout it. Um, so I had started learning it a bit, and enough to get to colloquial level. Um, and I went to a bar with a friend, uh, so I say bar, but in fact it was a series of tarps that were spanned over an area adjacent to one of the main roads leading down to Champ de Mars, the main area where you have all the government buildings and the major monuments of the nation. And this bar had basically just a huge loudspeaker that worked about 30% of the time, um, a giant freezer that was filled with huge ice blocks because there was only power occasionally and there were plastic chairs around it and uh, you could buy live chickens there as well so we had just sat down we were having a few beers and talking and i was patching together my french english and creole and my haitian counterpart was patching together his english and a bit of french and i had to go to the restroom so i asked the owner where to go to the restroom and he pointed me down this half collapsed corridor to a room that of what had once been a house. It was now basically three walls and a pile of rubble. And, you know, just as I walk down, I see someone coming towards me, a younger guy uh, who immediately asks me, you know, there's a very common phrase in Haiti, especially uh, near touristic sites, and it is, give me one dollar. So he says, give me one dollar. And then I reply in my very broken Haitian Creole, you know, not going to give you money. Sorry, you know, I'm just here to go to the bathroom. So, like, you know, leave me alone. To which he replies, Wap con George, which literally translated means you will know George. To which I reply, I, I do know George. In fact, I had met uh, a U.S. embassy attache named George Revolus, a Haitian American. And uh, I, you know, said, I know a George. And, you know, the, 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 the specific and the unspecific, the determinant and indeterminant pronoun uh, kind of is a nuance that I had not yet grasped. And he laughed and he said, no, no, no. He said, you, you, you get out now and don't come back. And the get out now was even in English. So he was taking respect for my troubles. And I, so I, I, I peed. I went back, I finished my beer, and I'm asking my friend, you know, who is this George? Why um, is he like the gang boss in the area? He's like, no, 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 no. Wap con George simply means whatever you're doing or where you, wherever you are, you, you shouldn't be there. You need to get out. You need to leave or stop doing that immediately. And upon further investigation, far later on, I heard many stories, but the two stories that stick to me are that it either makes reference to Hurricane George which I believe was in 2008, or George Bush, because the Haitians had a deep appreciation of the destruction wrought upon Baghdad, actually. And uh, yeah, so don't mess with George is the message.